<laughs> that was a short. You went like 16 seconds. Is that short? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Is that going? How long should I go? Bill Simmons does Pro Jam every now, time. Gene, I'm uh, I'm 16. <laughs> That's not short. Yeah. Oh wow. That's not short. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, welcome back. Hello. And welcome back, everyone else, to mm -hmm. the Midwest Sports Show, a podcast yeah. and a live Facebook and YouTube show. Yeah. About the Midwest sports. And including scene. speaking. Yes. Yeah. Scene. Yeah. The Midwest scene. Oh, uh, speaking of Midwest sports, I, I saw two musicals over the weekend. All right. Great. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, time, of the Midwest. Right. Right. Time. Which was more set in New York at the turn of the century when people, all the immigrants and stuff came over. So that was great. And then I saw Hello, Dolly. Fantastic. With Betty Buckley. Do you know who Betty Buckley is? Uh, no. She's oh, she's a <coughs> legend, and and is she like um, is she uh, Jeff Buckley's? No, she used to something? be the mom on Eight Is Enough. That that's way dated. Nobody would know that, but she's a Broadway star, and, and she was so great. I've never seen Hello Dolly. It was All inspiring. Right, well, Gene, so. before we get into your uh, off Broadway pitch, no, that's it. Uh, I, I'm just saying it was really let, great. Let's introduce ourselves. So you know, Gene is a consummate. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, I'm trying to go. Uh, let's make sure everyone else has credit before him. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah, here's so, to Betty Buckley. So my name is uh, Chris Dots, and then uh, that's Gene Steichen. Hello. And uh, we're here to talk about Midwest sports, mm. and occasionally we will uh, also talk about Broadway shows. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, at least oh, Gene, Gene will talk it. about Broadway shows. Oh and my I will God. Quickly try to steer the subject away. Oh, it's so good. I, I love it. I go to so many shows now. It's, uh, I'm, because I, I didn't go to Broadway. I've never been to an actual Broadway show, but the stuff we get out here is great. So, winter, I would just like to say this about the Midwest. It's very cold there. And, uh, I would, I would say maybe it's time for spring, even though it's only February, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, even it's, it's been cold in L.A. And I'm I find for the first time in a long time I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait till it's a warm out and and I'm at the Hollywood Bowl because I'm gonna that's mm -hmm. a place out here where I'm gonna go. Well, Gene, you know, people I, I don't think people from the Midwest want to hear us complain about oh, 50 degree weather. Yeah, yeah, uh, in February 11th. Did, yeah, you're right. Um, Oops, 12th. sorry. So uh, yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's always. Well, I feel bad, bad for them for what they have to go but through. Gene, that's I, all. I have to agree with you. It's uh, been pretty cold. Yes, for uh, the past week and a half. Yeah, and I don't think people understand. It's not, it's not the temperature. It's the wind. Yeah, it seems like there's always wind going on. Right, and of course there are windy cities. Mm -hmm. But when you're not, uh, you don't have the clothes. You know, not have the parka with the fur stuff. You know. Yeah, around the hat. Right. Makes a difference. It's psychological, I think. Right, and also for we don't have the really cold weather like the Midwest, but we have a lot of traffic. So there, <laughs> that offsets it. Yeah, there you go. I think that, by the way, I think the PGA Tour is here this week, aren't they? Because oh, they're in Pebble area? Beach. Or they're, they might be, maybe it's next week. Maybe they're in, I have no idea. I think, okay. uh, I think you're cool. I was glad <coughs> Phil Jackson won, though. That was, Phil, Phil, Phil uh, Mickelson. Phil Jackson has won. Yeah, you know. I don't think, yeah. Well, Gene, we have uh, a lot to talk about. Okay, I'm up. Not really. Now that football's uh, over, uh, yeah. what are we going to talk about? I mean, college, well, college basketball? The Cubs are uh, the Cubs, Cub, Cubs are at spring training. Not all of them, but uh, some of them are. Yeah, and the Theo's pitchers there. Pitchers and the catchers? Yep, and they, so they're ready to go. So yep. why, haven't you, why aren't you at spring training? I will That's be the there. Question. I will be there March 25th. At the Cubs Boston, their final preseason game, and it's more expensive than uh, the cheapest ticket through the Cubs was fifty dollars to sit on the lawn for a spring training game. That's outrageous. Wow. Okay. Well, for whatever. spring training, where like yeah. you'll see one good uh, pitcher pitch for. Yeah, like, uh, but it's on. I'm driving to Texas, so it's on my way. So. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Well, uh, Gene, uh, there is news uh, okay. we're going to talk about, including uh, some football news. The football season never ends. Never. Um, Which is sure, great. You know. Which is great. Yeah. And uh, we got a little baseball. We got some hoops. I know oh. everyone's looking for some oh, hoops. Oh, Iowa beat Northwestern yesterday. Iowa and Iowa State are both ranked in the top 25 in, in men's basketball. And the women, Iowa women are in the top 25, too. There you go. Oh, there Timely. you go. All right, there, there's some college. Yeah, some college information for you. All right, well, Gene, we're going to start with uh, some professional football. Okay. And the big news uh, from today. Wow. 
is uh, the Cleveland Browns, who have had a lot of uh, a lot of goodwill. Yeah, the past uh, this past season uh, with Baker Mayfield. Uh, you know, yeah. How, how can you not be a fan of this guy? You you cannot not be a fan. You know, Miles Garrett. Uh, Excellent can, pick. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Okay, Good defensive player, right? Right, he's fine. Good. All right. And uh, uh, what do you call it? New coach. Right. Right. Yeah. Good. Good. Feel, oh, feel good story. I am going to Phoenix, but I might right. only be there. I'm going to be in Arizona <clears throat> for that. I might only be there for three hours because I got to drive 1,400 miles to Texas. Yep. If yeah. anyone wants to know about uh, Gene's travel plans, go right. ahead. Get on the get on the broadcast. I, I'm driving uh, from here to Dallas at the end of March. Oh, right. and also I'm going to go home and visit my mom and and Lowell, her lover, and uh, he's in the hospital. He fell on the ice. Oh, wow. He's 83 years old. I believe it's 83. Are you sure they're not just saying that <laughs> to cover up? Uh, I don't a know. Bedroom accident. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. I'm not sure what happened. I uh, no, he found the ice and he broke four ribs and he's in the hospital. Oh. So well, why is why is your mom have a big smile on her uh, face? Jane? She she if they watch if she shows it to him, hopefully they watch. Uh, <laughs> mom, uh, you guys, yeah, you're too. Be get careful. them better because I'm get taking some salt. Them, Gigi, and, why don't you bring a bag of salt? Well, I'm guys. gonna I'm gonna be there in April and I'm taking them to the King and I. So hopefully he'll be up and about by then. Yeah, because I don't get a refund on these tickets. These tickets are very valuable, Lol, so you got to get better. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there you go. Anyways, back to the <laughs> – I like the uh, inter- interjection in the middle uh, of the, I, of Well, the, of I didn't want to forget. That was very important. About? All right. So, anyways, uh, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, yeah, that was shocking. Kareem right. Hunt. Yeah. The uh, former Kansas City Chief uh, that was cut after a video of him last year. Actually, it was almost like a year ago because right, it was right. uh, the Super Bowl last year, right, uh, where he kicked a woman. Oh, that uh, was in a terrible. hotel. You were, oh, everybody. Well, I and, think most uh, people saw it. Oh, yeah. Everyone saw it. And uh, surprise, surprise, we're learning that they never spoke to the woman he cooked, he kicked. Really? Who? Did not, the, the Browns or the NFL? The, uh, the Browns. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sure the NFL can also uh, probably apply to that, but uh, yeah. I don't think uh, that was revealed. That's not good. Um, hey, you know, they had a good excuse, Gene. You know what? You know, uh, Kareem Hunt's posse stole her phone, so they couldn't record it, so that's why they couldn't get a hold of her. Oh, my gosh. What are they supposed to do? Yeah. Huh? Well, I mean, I, look up for her new phone number? I, I don't know. I don't yeah. think so. Hey, by the way, it, it looked like the Bears were the favorite to sign them. It seemed they they were going to sign them, but Bears, um, I'm kind of glad they did. I, I think the Bears, uh, Adam Gase, is that? No, who's, who's the Bears GM? Pace oh, or something? Oh, no, like yeah, Pace. Pace. Ryan Pace. You should call up, uh, what, um, what's the uh, owner? Haslam? That cro- uh, from one crook to another? Oh, so, hey, that, thanks. yeah, the Flying J. Flying, flying J. Yeah, Pilot J or yeah. whatever. Flying J. Flying. They have these truck stops. If you drive from here to Vegas, I've already said this, but I'll probably see them on the way to Mesa. Uh, but, yeah, the Flying J truck stops, which are funded by mob money and corruption. Well, don't, yeah, don't use your corporate card. I won't go. Well, use your corporate card on that because you'll notice uh, some charges on there you didn't approve uh, a couple months down the road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anyways, uh, yeah. So, Gene, you must be ecstatic that the Bears do not have to uh, pick him. Not that they had to pick him. Well, I mean, the Cubs re signed Addison Russell, and I was kind of okay with that because hopefully he's gotten better. So, I I guess I'm. I'm, I. my message is mixed, well, but yeah, I didn't want him. I cream hunt. That was bad. That was bad, and and I don't know. Maybe he's better. Maybe he's not totally. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, Gene, he went to uh, AA and some anger management classes. Yeah, so right. um, I'm, we'll I'm sure everything's uh, hunky dory. I don't know what they do in those classes, other than I see what in in the movies. <laughs> I think they just have people talk to each yeah. other and then uh, kind of like you know talk about like whatever what you have to do when you get angry and then everyone ends up complaining right right about the oh police. yeah remember uh the great one was jack nicholson him and adam sandler oh that that was the movie adam uh, anger uh, management yeah or was yeah. it billy crystal no no that was, that uh, was uh analyze this that was yeah. him and de niro yeah oh by the right, way I, I, I am watch, re-watching the sopranos fantastic all right everyone, everyone seen seems it. to be doing that these days is it like a thing is it on tv yeah or no, it it's on Netflix. On... Or no, it's actually on Prime. 
Uh, okay. I'm just rewatching the whole series. It was either that because I kind of made a commitment to because I I watch Game of Thrones and I I bailed. I didn't even make it to the Red Wedding, and I was like, what, what's with all the dragons and stuff? And mm-hmm. I and I use it like that, but I I didn't make it. So I was gonna try give it another try, but then I thought I went to the Sopranos instead. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching uh, the show behind us, uh, the girls' oh. soccer basketball team, uh, she was a little bit short of the touchdown. And uh, she was going into the. Uh, they're playing on a football field. They're uh, playing at Washington. Themselves. They must be in Washington because they're playing at Washington State yeah. Cougars Field. Yeah, yeah. All right. I've never actually watched The Sopranos, Gene. And, oh, uh, it's so I, good. I haven't had HBO. Great. I don't think ever in my life. Yeah. Maybe we I love. Well, I, I shouldn't say I love the mob because they do a lot of bad stuff. But I, I'm intrigued by them. Can I say that? I don't want to be a part of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, so, so uh, I'm sorry, Kareem Hunt. Right. Now, he yeah. doesn't, just because they uh, picked him up doesn't mean he's going to play. He's going to still uh, be suspended. Yeah, probably and stuff, six but games. He will I be think. a free agent uh, next year, and uh, they have the rights to him. So, uh, yeah. hey, man, business is business, but uh, I guess Colin Kaepernick. Uh, oh, my gosh. You're, you're, you're out of the job, buddy, because you decided yeah. to kneel at a, uh, during right. the national anthem. Yeah. Uh, and maybe if uh, the flag was a woman that you would have hit, Maybe uh, the NFL would have had uh, second thoughts, but uh, nope, you decided to kneel on the floor. Ooh, there you go. All right. All right. Hey, also, speaking <laughs> of the, the flag, uh, it's uh, very patriotic. The Oscars are in two weeks, so Hollywood Boulevard's shutting down, and they're setting up the bleachers now. I walk down Hollywood every day, and they've announced they're not going to have a host this year. Is what, it, what's it going to be like? I don't know. Just come out and present awards. Isn't the show crappy enough as it Jesus. is the old way? Are they trying to destroy the Oscars? Yeah. It used to be like an event, right? And Yeah. And I'm not even going to – I'm going to a musical the night of the Oscars on oh. Hollywood Boulevard. So, wow. yeah. Damn. Yeah. So who's Luke Buckus, well, Finn? That's a good question, Jim. That's That's his son. Is he coaching? No, Dick Buckus' nephew. Oh, his nephew. Luke Whoa. Buckus has been named the Packers assistant offensive line head coach. Wow. He held, he held the top O-line job at Illinois from uh, 16 to 18. 2016 18. His NFL Hall that's of Fame uncle. That's not a good, that's not a ringing endorsement right there. His NFL Hall of Fame uncle had more than a few interesting afternoons for their Bears yeah, arch, against their arch rival. But does he? He didn't even play in the NFL, did he? What's I? I don't think so. Either. His credentials, coaching so. at Illinois, that should automatically get you fired from any future consideration. <laughs> yeah, they're well, terrible. Well, Gene, he's he's coming from the Lovey Smith uh, coaching that, tree. So, that, uh, hey, speaking of uh, Illinois, I don't know what the hell they're doing there because their basketball team's a little sketchy, but their football team's in disarray. Yeah. Lovey, no, thank you. Kind of a uh, bold move by the Packers, new uh, Packers coach, to bring in a uh, Bears icon. Oh, right, right. Nephew. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't get more iconic and, uh, than not. Uh, you know, this is kind of like uh, bringing in like a Soviet spot into Ooh. the Department of Defense to, uh, you know, yeah. let, let them learn the, uh, you know, the ropes, you know? Yeah. Uh, my question is, did they give him a purity test <laughs> before he signed the contract? <laughs> Purity, like Gene. Remember, you know when you were a kid. I think I know what you're gonna remember say. Remember when you had a kid. Remember when you were a kid and you guys yes, had a I dog. Do. I do. Oh, you, we had Fred the Schnauzer. And you played yeah. this game with yeah. your sister. Like you put the dog on one side of the uh, room and you'd uh, go to the other side. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't. And do you'd that. both call him to see which uh, wow. where the dog would go to. No, to did see you who do the dog that? loved. Oh, you didn't do that with your sister. Did no, you? I. That's a great idea. That, that's a time tradition, I think, for uh, siblings. Oh my gosh. My my question is, do they do this? With oh. uh, Luke Buckus, do they have like a a, a fat head of uh, mm-hmm. like a Rod, like I have behind me, and like a fat head of uh, Jim McMahon, <laughs> and was like uh, go to the fat head that you like better? Wow, I don't know. Is that what happened? Yeah, I I I, I guess the Packers know what they're doing, but I don't know N- nothing. I've heard. Yeah, I I'm surprised, but all right, we'll it's, see. They're thinking out of the box, Gene. Yeah. And uh, you know, since we're talking about Dick Buckus, one of the one of the all-time greatest names. Yeah, I I think I oh he played at Illinois, by the way. I think one of my the first time I heard Dick, I I think I heard his name. I'm like, that cannot possibly be like a real <laughs> name. No one can be named Dick Butkus. Oh yes, he can. Oh right, yes, right. he can. Yeah, him and him. He played at Illinois last time. One of the last times Illinois was actually good. And then him and Gail Sayers played together. But oh, they really? didn't do much for the Bears. Nope. I think they might have made the playoffs once earlier or twice. But, yeah, they most of their career was not good. 
Although he was yep. fantastic. And then, uh, so Dick Buckus is yeah. his uncle. What's his uh, aunt's name? Uh, <laughs> Pussy Buckus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I had a lot of Dick Buckets jokes. Uh, what else you this. got? No, that's it. That's all. No, I got. He, is that it? I wrote these five minutes before the show, Jane. Uh, do you have any other relatives? <laughs> no. Well, Pussy Galore, Pussy Butkus. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, that's all I got. Uh, all right, so there you go. Hopefully, he. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Did the offensive line? Did they, did they fire the offensive line coach? I, I guess they must have. Right? Yeah. Or wasn't he the guy that said they need to get rid of McCarthy? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Hiring from Lovey's staff, that doesn't seem very inspired. Yeah, well, didn't, um, didn't, didn't like a couple of good running backs come out of uh, Illinois recently or anything like that? Or no? I don't think Did so. Cohen, Tariq Cohen, I, I feel like he came from Illinois. No, but. Tariq Cohen came from that NCAA t t not really okay. small school. Okay. Yeah. Right. My, um, I believe mistake. something like that. All right. And then, Gene, uh, we're at, we got one more Packer story here. Awesome. I might go opening night. Opening night, September 5th. And whole, it sounds like it's September 5th. Bears, Packers at the Bears Thursday night in Chicago. But I'm not sure. To open the uh, season. Yeah, it sounds the like Super Bowl. it. Uh, does anyone, I, I think the, the NFL is looking at this. Does anyone want to watch the Patriots play again? No. For God's sakes? I don't think so. And what about, so the NFL celebrating their 100th anniversary, but the Packers celebrated their 100th anniversary last year. They're one step ahead for some reason. Yep, oh. always one step ahead of the league. Yeah. Um, so, Gene, we've uh, we've oh. spoken about this uh, a couple times before, but uh, the Packers are the only NFL team after this year not to play in London uh, for various reasons, including uh, no, they don't want to give up a home team. I'm sorry, home game, and no right. team wants to give up the sold out home game right. of them visiting. But uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, number 12, right. he was asked about it, and he said he would like to play in London. And yeah. He would uh, want to play in London, and the NFL should uh, reconsider their stance. I bet you next year they'll be there. What do you think? Well, let me let me tell you something, uh, Aaron. Oh, this is directly to Aaron. So I'll step aside while you address yeah. Aaron directly. This is, this is to a, a, an Does audience of one. Does this have anything one. to do with Butkus this anymore? This is an audience of one. You're done with him? Um... You want to play in London? Okay. Aaron? Yeah, Aaron. Uh, how about you go to the Jacks? The Jaguars, huh? <laughs> I'm sure they're looking for a quarterback. See how much you are like they, playing in London every year. Are they? Are the Jaguars on their future schedule? Because that's when they would do it. I Although, guess so. nobody wants to give up a home game against the Packers because that's when their attendance is probably... The Jaguars best. are like, we're trying to make money, not lose money. Why would yeah. we go to London? These teams, they don't... When they play at Green Bay, it's too valuable. They can't give up a home huh. game, obviously. But when they when the Packers are on the road, that's one of their biggest games. Yep. So Although, I, they would... I mean, it would sell out definitely in London. Oh, uh, yeah. It would be great. Sure. Yeah, be, uh, yeah, pretty big. Oh, and Aaron Rodgers won that award for the best moment of the season when he beat the Bears uh, oh, really? opening night, and I, that's the game I was at oh, really? when they were down seventeen nothing. He comes out of the tunnel. Yeah. Did what for the ESPN or was the that, NFL? Was yeah, the award NFL something? awards. Yep, when they did the MVP, and then they had a category the best moment of the year, and, and Aaron Rodgers won. So I felt right. somewhat responsible because he goes, I came out in the crowd and I was there cheering him on. So, yeah. Well, Gene, you were part of it. You went to vote. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Packers. And I did not boo. I did not boo the Packers. I'll never boo. I'm not going to boo the Cubs, Addison Russell. Mm. All right. I don't know. Well, Gene, speaking of uh, baseball and yes. uh, Addison Russell with right. the uh, Chicago Cubs, a oh. uh, bit of an ugly story. It's terrible. Coming out of the right. uh, the Ricketts family, which owns oh, the uh, the Cubs. Mm-hmm. But what they bought it from the Tribune Corporation, yes. which uh, pretty bad organization themselves. I think. Yeah, who didn't really do much for the Cubs. I don't know, but the Ricketts family's been great, so that's the good news. The bad news is, well, wow. they've been writing checks. Yeah, the checks have cleared. Well, and then Tom the, uh, Ricketts, he, he he's a fan. He met his wife, or he proposed to her in the bleachers. I don't know. Maybe that's sex in the bleachers. <laughs> sure. Maybe that's sex next to You, you mean the, uh, the luxury boxes or something? You no, know, he used to sit in the bleachers. Tom Ricketts is great because he he you can meet him any game. He walks around the stadium and he sits right next to the field. But yeah, this is not good. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's very uh, conversational, conversational with all I, the fans. I'm telling you, I've I've watched him. I've yeah. sat I've sat near him. I haven't yeah. actually talked to him, but right. yeah. well, Gene, uh, his dad, yeah, Joe, his father, Joseph, Joseph, yeah. um, head of Ameritrade, is a big user of email. Yeah, he uses email a lot. Ooh. 
to uh, you know to do his business and all that right. stuff, but uh, also to forward racist conspiracy Ooh. theories uh, coming from the deepest, darkest corners of the internet, including Obama birther conspiracy stuff. Oh. And uh, Hillary, Cl- Hillary Clinton wow. stuff and uh, all this other crazy stuff. Well, that story was on Splinter, I guess, which is a uh, right, former right. Uh, Gawker uh, Oh, website. Gawker went out of business. Didn't they lose all their money because they got sued? Yeah, they went bankrupt, but uh, the, the whole like, organization existed because Mondo or whatever and Deadspin yeah. and uh, Splinter. And they have all these kind of, uh, what do you call it, verticals, I right, guess you'd right, call them. Right, right, right. Uh, well, he, uh, Joe, what would you say? The um, kid's name is Tim? Tim Ricketts? Oh, uh, Tim is the uh, the one. I think Timmer is his name. Timmer Ted. He's the know. governor in Nebraska. Oh, okay. All right. Well, whatever. The kid, the guy who's running the Cubs right now. Oh, that's Tom. He Tom, uh, Tom runs the Cubs. Uh, after uh, Splinter Stories ran Joe's son Tom. All right. <laughs> I guess I could have checked the notes. On uh, my, don't uh, worry about it. I, I it's I was good that I you. actually contributed one yeah, from. Yeah. Uh, Apologized for his father's emails while simultaneously trying to distance Joe from the Cubs. Mm. Here is Tom's statement from ESPN. We are aware of the racially insensitive emails right. in my father's account that were published by an online media outlet, mm. Tom Regan said in a statement Monday. Let me be clear. The language and views expressed in those emails have no place in society. My father is not involved with the operation of the Chicago Cubs in any way. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. God. It's his money. He gave the kids a trust fund, and they use their trust fund to buy the Cubs. So I am trusted with representing this organization and our fans with a respect for people of all from all backgrounds. Yeah. These emails do not reflect the culture we've worked so hard to build mm-hmm. at the Chicago says Cubs since 2009. Gene, what do you think? Yeah, uh, Jason Hayward <laughs> or uh, Javi Baez. Yeah, or uh, Addison. I don't know <laughs> all the other players. Yeah, Kyle Schwarber? Well, Kyle Schwarber is probably uh, on that email chain. But, uh, <laughs> oh, wait a second. What about Chris um, Bryant? You think he's yeah, part they, of the They probably got CC'd. Oh, those. okay. Uh, but, yeah, but, uh, Gene, that'd be kind of, yeah, I, I can imagine uh, kind of the, the son freaking out here about this because, uh, you know, if the owner of the Cubs is uh, forwarding racist emails, uh, why would anyone want to play it for a team? I like know that? it's always odd too, and he's obviously very intelligent. He's got a lot of money. Have you ever got involved in a conspiracy email chain or any? I that's not uh, part of. I I've never been part of that, or even I, well, a thought anything like that. But then get involved in a conspiracy. Do you have a conspiracy group you email? No, no Gene. Because uh, I, I, I use science and logic. Well, I know. That's uh, what's so life. odd. Joseph is older, obviously. Well, how do you make his money? How do the family make their Ameritrade. money? Ameritrade. He owns and Ameritrade. That's out of business, right? Isn't Ameritrade no, out of business? No, no. There, there's it's a trading good. company? Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you think a guy who, uh, you know, is ruled by logic and numbers and all this stuff. Right, right. Uh, you know, would, uh, but I guess, uh, you know, when you watch enough Fox News and when you get old enough, uh, oh, your brain deteriorates. I never get that old. Hope I never get that old. Not good. No. Not good. It's it's and Tom Ricketts is getting talked to the media next week. But boy, that's a bad. Oh, it's a rough. They should. He should make up for. Well, not that you can make up for that. He apologized. You got to apologize, obviously. But then send Bryce Harper to make the Cubs fans feel better. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Give a give a white guy a three hundred million dollar contract. Mm. Yep, okay. That, that's the answer. yeah. I'm I'm all for that. All right. And then uh, Gene, you know we love hoops. Yes. We love hoops on the show. Right. And, uh, you know, a lot of people come here for our hoops analysis. Yes. We're not going to let them down. Oh. Uh, there was a bat. On bat? The lo- on the loose. Oh, there was one in San Antonio, but in, in somewhere s- else? Inside the uh, stadium oh. of uh, the Indiana Pacers. Really? And it was okay. flying around. Apparently, the bat had been around for uh, a couple of weeks or something oh. like that. And it was flying around during the game. Well, Gene. Yes? It's they don't know where the bat is. Oh, it's disappeared. And they don't they won't they don't know if it had rabies. Oh or yeah. Any other yeah. infectious diseases. Yeah. And uh if you uh touched the bat mm. or petted the bat at all, yeah. in any way, uh authorities are recommending uh you go see the Joker right away. <laughs> he wants to see you right away. <laughs> There you go. It'll take care of it. Or you can go see one of the Butkus family. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, I saw it last night when I was going to the theater. I saw a possum. Have you ever seen a possum up close? Uh, yeah. I've seen raccoons, but not a possum, and he, he didn't seem very happy to see me. <laughs> yeah, possums are uh, kind of angry, kind of crazy beasts. They're, yeah. I, well, these I was crazy walking. noses with teeth, and they have crazy uh, oh, claws. Yeah, and, like a and they're kind of yeah, ratty looking. Uh, I was walking the dogs before the show, um, my, and then they were intrigued by the possum. Uh, possums aren't good. What are they up to? What do they do? They just wander the neighborhood. They, uh, uh, yeah, they just cr- they, well, they look for garbage. Right? Yeah, same thing. So they're they're competing with the raccoons. Yep. Yeah, hey, it's a fight. It's a yeah. torrential fight. I yeah. wonder if they uh, actually go to battle mm. or not. All right. Well, Gene, that's all again. Gene, without football, I mean, what is there even? Oh, to talk about? I did watch. I told you before. I watched the new football league. I I recorded two games. I go. I'll just have it on the background, and then I watched the first two plays. And fine, I'm sure it's good or whatever. And then I deleted both games. So, I'm, yeah. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I, that's I'm that's the ultimate uh, disrespect when you uh, delete the uh, yeah. football game from your DVR. Yeah. Now, did you watch the sa- – I heard the Saturday game was actually fairly – Yeah, that's the, the game one. I watched the two plays from. So, good for them. But, uh, again, that was in San Antonio. And I like that Steve Spurrier's coaching and a couple other guys. Mike Singleton, ex is coaching too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to catch up. Have you watched all the Oscar movies? <laughs> no, I've started. Know, I I've started nominated. a campaign. I hope Black Panther wins Best Picture. We yeah. don't need Roma. What is uh, What is Tom Ricketts? Mm-hmm. What does he think? I'm disturbed by the Ricketts family. Is he? Uh, is he on the email chain? Wow. Or Joe Ricketts? Whatever. That's that's disturbing when your team. Because yeah, they've had. It's been really rough between Addison Russell, the Ricketts family, and not signing Bryce Harper. Oof. Oh boy. Rough offseason. It's this, real, this organization this is, is in disarray. I know. But we're going to bounce back and win the Woods here. I, I told you, Gene. Huh? Uh, I told you Theo oh. is uh, going to just when the ship is about to sink. Because he yeah. knows he knows. He's going to be there two more years. But it, same thing happened in Boston. Hey, it's my sister's birthday tomorrow. When's it 13? Oh, in two days on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she yeah, – yeah, anyway, to, I don't know if she if she'd ever hear this – She's not sports. She's the only one. I don't know how she's related to. She's not a sports fan. Well, Gene, we, we talk about everything but sports. So, oh yeah, uh, on yeah. The show, so. Well, happy birthdays. All right, well, there Here's you go. Happy time. birthday. Seems like uh, everyone's got a birthday every single. Yeah, week. I have a birthday week. in a couple weeks. All right. Well, uh, that's great. Well, that's the show again. We don't have uh, too much. Uh, yeah. To actually, look forward to seeing shows. everyone when I go on the road on my epic road trip uh, coming up in um, six weeks. All right. Well, yeah. Get ready for that. I guess so. Do you have any other buckets stuff? <laughs> no. I'll work on some uh, buckets jokes for yeah. uh, for next week. So right. we're, all, we're all ready to go. Well, I was trying to think. Yeah. <clears throat> what would the mom's name be? Pussy Butkus. Oh, yeah. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. See, Pussy's a big character in Sopranos. He's one of the gangsters. Oh, yeah. The big Pussy? Or yeah. Big pussy? Yeah. Big Pussy. Yeah. 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 Big Pussy Butkus. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. So uh, for Gene Steichen. My name is uh, Chris Dutz. It's uh, been okay. Thanks so much for watching. Home free. Bye bye.